All right, guys, I'm back again with another video. And today I'm gonna show my 2020 Toyota Camry XSE and show off some of the features in case you're wanting to buy one in the future. And the first thing I'm gonna show is the um, wind chill pearl paint, metallic paint. This is a $500 option exclusive to the XSE and the TRD models. And I think it looks amazing on this car. And it really gives a good contrast between the black and the white that's on it. Like the panoramic sunroof is, almost gives it a two-tone look. It's ball painted black. And bring it down to the wheels, which are also uh, painted black and they're uh, machined alloy on the 2020 version. And these are 19 inch rims. The new, the 2021 is an all black rim, which I actually prefer this machine look on the 2020 version. That's just my opinion. I think it looks a little bit better. But it also has a sport suspension that's on the XSC model. and uh, full LED turn signals. Also, the XSE has this um, the shiny black. It's almost like a metallic finish too on this. And some of the other models like the SE, is, this is just a flat black instead of a um, gloss black finish, which I think it, it adds a nice touch to it. But overall, man, this vehicle, I've had it since August of last year, of 2020, and I've had zero issues with it. And it just, to me, it looks, uh, it looks amazing. I looked at the Kia K5, the Honda Accord, the Hyundai Sonata, the, um, I also looked at the uh, Mazda 6. But all those were great cars, but I prefer Toyota Camry. I mean, it checked all the boxes when it came to what I was looking for. Also, the XSE has quad chip exhaust, and this particular model has a um, the option black blacked out decals, which I think that looks really nice. This adds a little something. It's like a stormtrooper, basically. I mean, it's all black and white. It just looks sick. Here's the blind spot monitoring, which basically if somebody's in your blind spot, this will start blinking, let you know not to get over in the other lane, which I think every car should have that. Just a really safe feature. And this is the um, four cylinder which will give you like 29 miles a gallon in the um, city and 38 miles a gallon in the highway, which is excellent gas mileage. I mean, I've gotten like 39, 40. It's just incredible. You can get the V6 version, which is awesome too, but I prefer the, the four cylinder just because it gets better gas mileage. I mean, the V6 gets 300 horsepower, which is just a beast. This one is 206, but still, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be racing a whole lot of people in my Camry. I mean, it has plenty of power to get me where I wanna go. All right, guys, here's the interior, which is a black leather interior, which is really nice. The seats are really comfortable. It has, uh, here's the controls for the seats. It has full lumbar support, heated seats. Uh, plenty of room in this car. I mean, I'm six foot four and I have plenty of room. And I'm, I don't even have the seat all the way back. All right, and then it has a push button start. Basically just put your foot on the brake, push this button. 
pretty cool when you start it up it has this little graphic just adds a little something to it and this car has a um, three different modes you can switch to it has the default normal mode eco mode which will give you the best possible gas mileage and sport mode this will basically increase the throttle and tighten up the suspension and uh, the steering will be tighter which is it feels really nice if you put it in that mode and it has a um, I think this is a seven or an eight inch touch screen Apple CarPlay uh, Android Auto here's a uh, the backup camera which is nice it has like a full trajectory turning so basically when you turn the steering wheel it'll show you where your car's gonna go that's a real nice feature also this car has a uh, option JBL audio system which sounds amazing I mean it has a subwoofer built in the back and I'm really picky when it comes to my music so if I think it sounds good I mean it's it's really nice also here's the um, panoramic sunroof Basically, you push this button back here. You hold it for a couple seconds. This will go all the way back. And then you push this button right here. It'll make the glass go back. Lift it up. You can also lift it up uh, partially. And this is a really nice feature. That's like exclusive to the XSC, the XLE. Yeah, that's the only two models that have this. Also, here's the uh, wireless phone charger. Uh, storage compartment, pretty nice size to put all your goodies in, your mask, sanitizer. <laughs> here's another, like, it's a hidden compartment underneath of the phone charger. You just push this back, put change or any little thing in there. His car also has dynamic cruise control. If you're on the expressway going 70 miles an hour and somebody gets in front of you going 60, your car will automatically adjust to the car in front of you, which is really nice. I mean, you pretty much just babysit the car, honestly, when you're on the expressway, or, I mean, this makes it really easy to drive. And to activate that, you just push this little button here and the, and the plus button you can adjust how fast you want to go and it'll lock your speed in and it makes the car very very easy to drive also it has siri and which you just push this button here for a second you can ask it anything which comes in handy yeah, this infotainment system also has uh, navigation and this car has dual climate control say if uh, someone over here from this seat wants it 72 73 they can have you can have two different uh, climates in this car which is nice because sometimes my girlfriend wants it a little bit warmer than i do <laughs> so that's really a really cool feature also it has this seven inch screen in the uh, dash, which it'll show your MPGs. You can scroll through with this button right here on the steering wheel. This, it shows you your lane keep assist. So if you're about to, like if you're swerving in another lane, it'll start beeping and push you back into your lane, which is really nice. And let's see, it also has, I mean, it just, this little feature shows what you're listening to at the time. You scroll down, and it'll show a pre-collision system. So basically this thing will, it'll stop on its own if someone, if you're about to have an accident. And if you're backing up and someone's behind you, it'll start beeping and it'll show you on the screen right here where they're coming from. It'll have arrows showing where, where they're at. Here's another feature this car has. It has a, uh, a brake hold. Pretty much if you're at a stoplight and you're, you're fully braked, you just you can push this button right here. And anytime that you push the brake again, 
you can just let your foot off the brake and you'll stay fully stopped until you push the accelerator which that's really nice say if you're at a um like a mcdonald's or something the line's taking forever and you don't want to keep putting your car in park you can just put your foot on the brake relax your foot and you'll stay fully stopped until you push the accelerator i use that all the time all right i'm gonna show you all the uh the back seats which are very comfortable too and i was just sitting up front and I still have plenty of, I mean, plenty of leg room. I mean, I had like five people in this car last weekend and we all had pretty decent amount of room. But overall, the interior on this car is excellent. I preferred it over all the other uh, mid-size sedans, in my opinion, it, it looked the best. It was the most comfortable. But yeah, this is a quick overview of the interior. Here's the trunk space. This car has plenty of trunk space. That's not too crazy. You can um, push the uh, back seats forward and get even more room. But yeah, this is just a quick overview of the car and my thoughts of it over the course of the time I've had it. Pretty much very reliable, a great looking car. I mean, there's a reason why it's a, a best selling car for 19 straight years. I mean, I've had no complaints. Just an awesome, awesome car. So if you're looking to buy a, a Toyota Camry, XSE model, I would highly recommend.